Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the defrost heater in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Remove the freezer shelves. The top shelves can be removed by moving each support to the center of the mounting hole, then slide the shelf to one side to detach. Slide out the lower bin as well. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the rear access panel. You can use a putty knife to help lift up the panel to detach it from the mounting tabs. Pull the panel forward to fully remove. Now bend the right side of the evaporator housing outward. Carefully pull the assembly down and forward, then lift it up to release it from the housing supports and pull the right side out. Disconnect the defrost heater wire connectors and release the wire from the retainer. Use pliers to detach the heater element retaining clips. Pull the old defrost heater free. You're now ready to install the new defrost heater. With the bend in the element facing forward, slide the defrost heater into position on the evaporator. Secure it with the retaining clips. Connect the wire connectors and secure the wire behind the retainer. Fully reposition the evaporator assembly, hooking it onto the housing supports. Bend the right side of the housing back in. Reinstall the access panel by positioning the top edge behind the air duct. Align the slots over the mounting tabs. Make sure the bottom lip of the panel is above the drain pan, then thread and tighten the screws. Replace the lower bin and shelving. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.